In this video, I'm going to go through some examples of some log word problems. So let's take a look at the first one. Example one, Harry invests $10,000 at an annual rate of 5% compounded continuously. And that's important because that tells us what formula to use. If you remember, compounded continuously is A equals PE to the RT. So part A says, determine to the nearest dollar the amount of money he will have after two years. So A equals PE to the RT. A is the final amount, which is what I'm looking for. P is the initial amount, which is 10,000. E is a number. My rate is 5%, but we convert that to a decimal of 0.05. And T is two years. So this gets plugged right into my calculator. 10,000. Second LN will give you the E. 0 0.05 times 2. 11,051.70918. They wanted it to the nearest dollar, which is no decimals, so 11,052, because that 7 told me to round up. Let's look at part B. Determine how many years to the nearest year, so I'm solving for t, because I'm looking for the number of years, it will take for his initial investment to double. So the initial was $10,000. If I want that to double, that means I want to end up with 20000 so I'm going to set up my formula using the same thing because we're still talking about compounded continuously. So A equals PE to the RT. My ending value, I want it to be 20,000. My initial value is 10,000. E is a number. My rate is still 0 0.05 and I'm solving for T. So in order to solve this, I want to isolate the base. So I need to divide both sides by that 10,000. So 20,000 divided by 10,000 is 2. And I have e to the 0 0.05t. Now I want to convert it to a log. So I'm going to keep the base and switch. My base is E, so I'm going to use the natural log. So the natural log of 2 is equal to 0 0.05t. I'm going to go to my calculator. Remember natural log is next to the 4, so the natural log of 2, 0.69314, is equal to 0 0.05t. So now what I'm going to do is I want to isolate the T. So I'm going to divide both sides by 0 0.05. So I get T equals 13.862. And they wanted it to the nearest year. So that means I'm going to round up to 14 years. Let's take a look at another example. Since January 1980, the population of the city of Valley Stream has grown according to the mathematical model y equals 720,500 times 1.022 to the x, where x is the number of years since January 1980. If this trend continues, use this model to predict the year during which the population of Valley Stream will reach 1,548,800. So they're giving me an equation. Whenever they give you an equation in the question, you always want to start with that equation. Never make up your own. So y equals 720, 500, 
1.022 to the x. They want it to reach that 1 million number. Well, that's what y is. And I'm solving for x. So, just like in the last problem, I want to isolate the base. So my first step is going to be to divide by the 720,500. So, in my calculator, here I go. 1,548,800 divided by 720,500. And I get this really long decimal. Now, you can keep that really long decimal if you want. You can always try to hit math, enter, enter to see if it'll give it back to you as a fraction. In this case, it does, so it's just a little bit easier to work with. I have 1408 divided by 655. So 1408 divided by 655 is equal to 1.022 to the x. Now, my base is isolated, so I'm going to keep the base and switch. So log, my base is 1.022, and I'm putting in that fraction. So now I can go to my calculator to use alpha window. Alpha window, choice 5. My base is 1.022. Whether you're using the decimal or the fraction, you can scroll up to highlight it and hit enter and your calculator will copy and paste it for you because you never want to round until the last step. So don't use a rounded answer in your calculator. Copy and paste it or second negative sign will give you the answer as well. So 35.167. Whoops. 35.167 is equal to x. Let's go back to the question. They asked to predict the year during which the population will reach that number. So they don't want to know how many years. They want to know in what year. So it's taking 35.167 years, but I'm starting at the year 1980. So that means that in the year 2015 this will occur. Be careful with the question. They don't want to know how many, they want to know during which particular year. So here are two examples of log word problems.